Hey everybody, how's it going? In this video, I'm going to be making a chicken chasseur slash hunter's chicken, French. So we're going to be following a Marco Pierre recipe. I've got diced tomatoes, fried chopped shallots, mushrooms, butter, chopped tarragon, parsley, floured chicken, tomato juice, white wine, and some chicken stock. So let's get on with the cooking. Okay, so the first thing I'm doing here is just heating up my chicken. I've got some butter and I'm going to mix in some oil as well. And we are going to lightly fry the chicken here, uh, just on a low heat. We don't want to scorch the flour. So we'll just wait for it to melt. Get out my tongs here. So I'm just waiting for this butter to just melt down. And this is good. We'll go in with the chicken, skin side down here. So, guys in, and I have some more chicken on the side. Should I have more space here? But I just want to make sure that I've got enough space so that I can eat plenty of chicken. So actually, we're just going to cook this here. So eat any other chicken that I had. We'll just put them back into the fridge. So again, skin side down into the pan. So I'll let this cook for probably about probably about five to six minutes. So that chicken is golden brown. So the cooking time on this chicken will probably take about 25, 25 minutes. And we're going to make the sauce in the pan at the same time. So we get all the nice juices um, from the chicken infused with the sauce. I'm also going to make some pasta on the side with it, so I'll bring some water up to a boil when this thing is getting closer to being finished. Um, and we're going to make a garnish uh, in the side here using the mushrooms and the tomatoes. So here we go. We're getting some nice, some nice frying happening now. Just to make sure that it's getting some good contact. So again, I don't want to I don't want to lift this too early here, so keep track of the time. Maybe I'll lift it in another five minutes. So personally, I like to set timers. So set a timer for, I guess it's been about a minute, so we'll, we'll set a timer for about four minutes here, then I'll flip this chicken. Another thing I want to mention as well about flouring the chicken, so the theory about flouring the chicken here is that it will help us to get that nice golden color on the chicken. And the flour is also going to assist in thickening the sauce. So if you want to have a nice, rich, thick sauce, having a little flour will help us get to that point. So we're still a couple minutes away from cooking the chicken, so we'll check back in a second and we'll see how it is. Okay, so it's been about five or six minutes now, so now we're going to flip the chicken. Look at that. Beautiful golden brown color on the chicken skin here. That's exactly how you want it to look. So the flour has helped us get that nice color. See that? So I flip these guys. This is one of these things I think is pretty common in French cooking here. Is that you always want to get this nice clear, nice golden brown color. So I'm just going to move this chicken off to the side now. Create some space. So now we're going to go in with the shallots, just in the middle here. Oops. Make a little bit of space for them. And they're pretty finely chopped, so they should cook down pretty quickly. So we get that in a second to cook, and then we're going to add in our alcohol in after that. Okay, so the shallots are cooking down. We're getting some really nice smells here. I just want to try and bring them down. More to the center here. Move things around a little bit so that the chicken is not sticking on the bottom side here. And there we go. Now it's really infusing with the juices from the meat. And so now I'm going to add in some white wine. I've got this, this wine here. No idea what it's about. Not really much of a wine guy. But what I can tell you 
is that we are going to go down the sides with the wine. Oh my god, that is way too much. Whoops. That's okay. We're going to reduce this wine. I never put wine in my food before, so something like that was bound to happen. But nevertheless, actually that's not too bad. So we're going to reduce this down here. Um, and so I wanted to put it down the sides because we don't want it to be too much on the top here. Otherwise, the raw alcohol won't cook off the chicken. So now we're just gonna we're gonna wait for this to reduce into sort of a syrupy uh, syrupy texture, and then we're gonna add some concentrated chicken stock. So as you can see here, my wine is really starting to reduce. We're getting this nice kind of bubbly bubbly texture here. The smell is incredible. And the taste of the chicken juices with the alcohol. Um, and the shallots, and the butter is, is just really nice. So we're just going to wait a few more seconds. I want this to just be a little more reduced, and then we're going to add the chicken stock and this tomato juice, uh, and we'll give it to you. Okay, so my wine's reduced really nicely here. So now I've got my concentrated chicken stock, and we're just going to plop it in from the side here. I can get it out. And we're going to just mix that in with the rest of the juices here, as we can see. The chicken stock is just getting in there nicely. We've got a nice kind of gravy texture. So now I'm going to add this tomato juice just to cover the chicken here. So normally you would add a little bit of gravy browning into this, but we're just going to add this in and we're going to just Bring this up to a boil, let it simmer. And so now, we'll add a little more. So we'll let this keep cooking, reducing. And in a separate pan here, I'm going to start working on a garnish. And I'm also cooking some pasta at the same time in this other pot. So, uh, yeah, let's get started on the garnish. Okay, so the butter and oil in the other pan is starting to melt here. So I'm going to begin to prepare my garnish. Uh, we're going to be using these mushrooms and these diced tomatoes. So I'll give it a second to just get a little hotter, and then we'll put that in. Uh, at the same time, I'm also going to uh, put some some chopped tarragon at the same time we're going to put some chopped tarragon just into the sauce here for the chicken so I've got quite a lot of this and so we've got a generous amount I've never used tarragon on any of my food before it has a strange smell and taste to just raw so we'll see if it's something I'm into um, but yeah a generous sprinkling of that uh, so let's go back now to the garnish pan, so this is looking good. So, in with our tomatoes, in with our mushroom, we're making a lot of garnish, chopped parsley, and so we're going to cook this, uh, and uh, the goal is to remove the water content in these, uh, in the garnish here. Meanwhile, the, uh, the chicken chasseur is looking very nice here. Um, I'm trying to get some of the tarragon more into the actual sauce mixture. Uh, let's have a taste. Mm. Tarragon is a very nice addition actually to this. Really delicious. Um, blends in very nicely with the alcohol and the chicken stock. Never really would have imagined that that would be a flavor that I would like, but it works pretty good. Okay, so the water's coming off of the garnish. It's tasting really good. Mushrooms are getting nice and tender, so I'm 
I'm gonna add the garnish now to the chicken. So, here's the chicken. I just put a lid on it for a second. Um, and we'll put a lid back on, I think. I just really want to make sure that that chicken is cooked. I find that when chicken is pan fried, it, it kind of takes a while to cook. So, now the garnish is going in over top of the chicken. garnish here, but as you can see, it's looking quite nice with it. And so now we'll let that kind of just do its thing for a second. So I think I'm going to let this cook for another 10 minutes just to make sure that the chicken is is totally done and also let the sauce just kind of thicken a little bit more. When that's done, I think it's uh, it's ready to serve and we'll we'll plate it. Okay, so it's been about been about 10 minutes with the lid on. So look at that, take the lid off, it's looking it's looking really nice. So I think just to finish it, we're gonna add a little bit of a little bit of butter into the sauce here. Nice kind of glossy finish. I'll give that a stir. Just let that one melt down. It's looking really beautiful. Yeah, chicken's looking really nice. And we'll finish it with just a little bit of fresh parsley. I've got some extra herbs here. Just in like that. French food, you know, you, it's all about the parsley, it seems. And I have a little tarragon that we'll, we'll serve on the side. So here's the, here's the chicken chats who are now just uh, on the table here. Uh, we're just gonna throw a little extra parsley on, as you can see in the natural life. Really beautiful looking sauce. Tastes amazing. So again, thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you learned something. If not, hopefully it was entertaining. Catch you guys in the next one.